Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the Air Fit Pack 3, which is a stylish and versatile 19 liter gym and everyday carry backpack. This is a part of Air's recently updated active collection, which also includes an all new version of their popular duffel pack. We're going to be doing an in-depth look at the duffel pack 3 in a future video, so make sure to keep an eye out for that. In this video, we're going to be doing a deep dive into the Fit Pack 3 and talk about what the differences are between this and the previous version and what it's been like to test this out over the past couple of weeks. Spoiler alert, there's some really great stuff here and I'm very excited to walk through it with you guys. Before jumping in, I want to thank Air for sending the bag for me to test out. And if you're new to the channel, my name is Danny and on this channel we take a look at popular travel and everyday carry gear. If you like these types of videos and you'd be interested in seeing more, please consider subscribing as it helps the channel out a lot. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and jump in. Starting off with the outside of the bag, I really like the overall aesthetic. The look here is very similar to the Fit Pack 2. The biggest aesthetic difference is going to be the water bottle pockets, which I'll talk a little bit more about in a second, but the overall silhouette seems to have been updated and streamlined a little bit, so it feels sleeker in my opinion, and it's just a great looking gym bag. It's not going to be as professional looking as something like the Day Pack 2, but because of the minimal aesthetic, it still doesn't feel like it's going to be out of place in an office setting, and it's just going to be great for walking around a city. Moving into the materials, the bag is made out of a 1680D ballistic nylon on the exterior, which feels really rugged. This is something that Air has used in a lot of their other bags. I've had several over the years, and the material has always held up well to rougher usage, and it also offers a nice amount of weather resistance. On top of that, the bag also has some well-protected YKK zippers all throughout to help keep your stuff protected from the elements. Continuing along the outside of the bag, one of the biggest changes on the Fit Pack 3 is the inclusion of two external water bottle pockets. And this is something I was really excited for because with the Fit Pack 2, I was a little disappointed that there was no easy way to store and access a water bottle given that this is more of a gym focused bag. So a very welcome addition here. Currently what I have in this pocket is the same 20 ounce water bottle that you've seen in a lot of my other daily bag videos, and that fits in there pretty comfortably. I was also glad to see that the pocket has some elasticity to try to accommodate a thicker water bottle. I did notice, however, that this is a little tight, especially when you start to pack out this main area, so that's something that you'll wanna keep in mind depending on the type of water bottle that you normally like to carry with you. Moving into the capacity, the bag comes in at about 19 liters, which is a really great daily bag size in my opinion, especially if you have a little bit more of a minimal everyday carry. I was able to hold most of the items that I normally like to carry with me, and I felt that the bag offered enough space to also carry some gym clothes and your shoes, which I'll talk a little bit more about when we dive into the main compartment. Taking a look at the straps and the back paneling, so far the bag has been really comfortable to wear. This is an area where Air always excels. I love how the straps have been implemented here. They have this comfortable thick padding, and then on the inside they have this meshy material to help prevent moisture from building up. The straps also have a nice width to help prevent the bag from digging into your shoulders when it's a little bit more packed out. And then you also have an adjustable and removable sternum strap to help distribute the weight. Moving into the back paneling, this has also felt great. You have the same padding and meshy material that we saw on the strap, so even when the bag is a little bit more packed out, it feels really comfortable. And then I like that this padding is elevated to create this air channel to add some ventilation and airflow while you're walking around throughout the day. And then one last addition that has been included here on the back paneling is you have this luggage pass-through that's gonna allow you to rest the bag on a suitcase while traveling to save some weight on your back. One thing that I did want to mention about the luggage pass-through is that it can be a little bit awkward to get this on and off a suitcase since there's no side handle, but regardless, I'm still happy that it was included. Jumping into the organizational options, the bag strikes a nice balance between keeping things simple and offering a variety of pockets. So starting off at the top, you have a great quick access pocket. This is something that Air has really mastered. I love the quick access pockets on their bags. This has a well-protected YKK zipper. I love that it has a zipper garage as well to help add some additional peace of mind if you get caught in some rain. So opening this up, you have plenty of space in here for anything that you need to grab a little bit more quickly while you're walking around throughout the day. So currently what I threw in here is my Ray-Ban sunglasses with their case, and then I also tossed in my Apple AirPods. And one of the changes here that was nice to see is that they've included this fleece lined material on the inside to help prevent against scratching. So this would be a great spot to also toss in something like your phone, especially while you're traveling and going through TSA. 
The next area that we're gonna be taking a look at is what I would call the tech and work area. So you have this top loading compartment on the back, again, with a well-protected zipper. And I like the amount of space that this offers for everything that you might wanna carry with you. And so the first thing I'll call out is, even with all the internal organization offered in this pocket, you still have some space to just toss in a taller and flatter item, such as a notebook, a folder, or in my case, I threw in my Levitate portable standing desk, which I was happy to see fit pretty comfortably. And then on both sides of the compartment, you have a nice layout of pockets. So starting off here on the front, you just have a simple kind of catch-all pocket here that's almost another quick access area. I wasn't exactly sure what to put in here, but it offers a nice amount of volume for something that you don't want floating down to the bottom of the compartment and that you need to grab a little bit more quickly. So in my case, I just tossed in a power brick and a lightning cable that charged my phone and my tablet. But again, just an open space here. It goes pretty deep. And then on the front of that, you have a mesh zippered pocket. The mesh here that's been included is a little bit different from what we saw on the Fit Pack 2. So it's gonna be more elastic, which I like, so it molds better around the different items that you might place in here. It also feels pretty thick and durable, and I just love how much elasticity this has. Currently what I tossed in here are just a few smaller items. I tossed in a USB adapter for my phone that adds some extra storage, and then a little dongle that I like to have with me to connect an HDMI to my tablet and my phone. So plenty of space there. Moving down along the bottom, you have a few additional slip pockets like we've seen in a lot of Air's other bags, so this layout always works nicely. These slip pockets offer a nice amount of volume and elasticity. On the left, you have a slightly larger slip pocket, which is gonna be a great spot to maybe store a smaller notebook, or in my case, I just tossed in my Kindle e-reader, and that fit in there pretty easily. Next to that, you have a few small slots that are gonna be good for holding something like a pen or a stylus. I also threw in a flashlight in my case, which I like to have with me. And then all the way on the right, you have another slip pocket that has a nice amount of volume and elasticity. What I tossed in here was just my Blue Pop portable Bluetooth speaker and power bank. So again, just keeping things really simple. And if you don't want to use those, they just kind of sit back against the compartment. And then on the other side, you have a larger slip pocket that's going to be a good spot to put something like a tablet. Currently what I have in here is my iPad mini 2. This is going to be able to hold a larger tablet if needed. One thing about this sleeve is that it's not really padded, but it does offer just a little bit of separation from everything else that's in this compartment. And then moving into the laptop sleeve, this is another area that's been upgraded. I love the changes that have been made here. On the back of the compartment, you have a soft fleece lining to help prevent against scratching. The compartment is also suspended off the bottom of the ground. So if you happen to place your device down a little bit harder, it's gonna be well protected. And this is gonna be able to hold up to a 16 inch MacBook Pro. Currently what I have here is a 13 inch MacBook. You can see there's plenty of leftover space here at the top. And so pulling my device out, now with the compartment empty, you can get a better look at the inside. And I like that this sleeve comes up a decent amount, so if you happen to have a thicker device, it should be able to fit in there okay. You'll just have to be mindful that that'll probably take up a lot of space from this central area where I had my standing desk. And one thing that I noticed about this sleeve is that even though it's padded, it doesn't have the fleece lining on the front, and it's also not quite as rigid as the laptop sleeve that we saw in the work collection. So would have liked to have seen that rigidity here as well, but regardless, this is a big improvement over the laptop compartment on the Fit Pack 2, and it feels like my device is gonna be very well protected while I'm running around throughout the day. And then the last area that we're going to take a look at is the main compartment. And so this has a nice duffel style opening, which has become a signature of Air's active collection. And this works really nicely for allowing you to see and access this full volume of the main compartment and grab whatever you need. One thing that's worth noting about this style of opening is that you don't have the ability to lock this. And because it is kind of exposed, it might be easy for a pickpocket to get in and just kind of grab whatever they want to from your bag. So that's something to keep in mind when you're walking around. But regardless, the compartment works well as far as providing access to whatever you need. You can open this up. Currently, I filled this out with some of the items that I would normally carry with me. And I also placed my shoes in the external shoe compartment, which I'll talk a little bit more about in a second, but I wanted you to be able to get a feel for how much space you have when there's a pair of shoes on the inside of the compartment. And you can see that even with the shoes inside, it's not completely packed out. So I could have tossed in, you know, a change of clothes right here near the top, 
or had some extra space for another pouch. I tried to keep things a little bit more minimal here. So I'll jump into what I currently have. First up, I have the Air Slim pouch, which I reviewed recently. This has been great to use. If you wanna see how I packed this out, make sure to check out the in-depth video. I'll include a link in the description below. And then down near the bottom, I tossed in my Beats solo wireless headphones in their hard case. And then on the other side, I tossed in my Matador Nano Dry Shower Towel, which is great to have, particularly if you go to a gym, you wanna have your own towel, this is super convenient. And then besides that, I didn't really put anything else. And you can see on the inside, you have this little pouch, which is what holds your shoes. And I love that this pouch is included to kind of keep your dirty shoes separated from everything else that's in the compartment. And so taking a look at the shoe compartment itself, you can access it from the outside. And this is a ventilated compartment, which is great so that, you know, if your shoes are smelly after working out, or if you place some wet clothes in here, they're gonna be able to kind of air out. And so opening this up, on the inside, you actually have a surprising amount of space. I was a little bit worried about how this would hold a pair of running shoes. On air site, they say that this will hold up to a men's size 13 shoe. Currently what I have in here is a size 11 and a half pair of Nike free runs and that fit in there pretty comfortably. I think a size 12 would definitely be able to fit in here. Size 13, I think that would start to depend a lot on the type of shoe. If it's a bulkier shoe, I think that might start to get a little bit tight, but regardless, plenty of space here, more than I was expecting. And I really just love how well implemented this shoe compartment is. You have plenty of volume, you can actually pull this out to clean it if you wanna get any dirt or just allow it to dry out if you happen to place maybe something like uh, some swimming trunks after going for a swim at the gym. You can just let this air out. And one of the nice changes with this shoe compartment is that they've actually included a little pocket on the flap so you can actually roll this away and tuck that in there when you don't wanna use the shoe compartment and that will give you a lot more space in the main area if you're not somebody who carries a pair of shoes with you on a regular basis. So I really love that inclusion there. It just makes the main compartment a little bit cleaner and easier to use for other EDC essentials. And then on the inside of the main area, you also have a small elastic slip pocket that's gonna be a great spot to maybe toss in a change of clothes if you wanna keep it there, or just other small accessories that you don't want floating around. I didn't really use this because it's on the back of the compartment, so it can be a little bit awkward to kind of reach it, especially when this is filled out with a ton of other stuff, but I like that it just kind of stays out of the way if you don't wanna use it. So just a really nice implementation in this main area with the shoe compartment and the amount of space that's offered. Everything is super well thought out. I love the upgrades that have been made from the Fit Pack 2. And if you're looking for a durable and stylish everyday carry bag that's gonna work great for carrying some of your gym stuff, then this is gonna be one of the best options that you can check out. And so to wrap up, it's been a great experience testing out the Fit Pack 3 over the past couple of weeks. The bag has been very comfortable to wear, it has a great build quality, it offers a nice amount of space, and I really love all the improvements that Air has made to this new version of the bag. And starting today, you can purchase the Fit Pack 3 and the other items from the Active Collection on Air's site. The previous version of this bag came in at about $135, which was a really reasonable price in my opinion for a bag of that quality and style. Now, with the upgrades to this version of the bag, with the laptop compartment, the water bottle pockets, and some of the other improvements that have been made, I'm guessing the bag is gonna come in at closer to $150. It's probably gonna go up a little bit, but I still feel it's a reasonable price considering all the features that the bag has to offer, and it also compares well to other similar bags in this price range. And so as I was testing this out, the first bag this made me think of is the Air Day Pack 2. That's been one of my favorite recently released tech and everyday carry bags. I love the aesthetic of that. I know that it feels a little bit different than this one just because it's not a gym focused bag. But if you're somebody who doesn't need those extra features such as the shoe compartment and you want a bag that's gonna look a little bit more professional and match up better with a nicer outfit that also comes in at a similar price point, then that's gonna be a great option to check out. The next bag this made me think of is the Modern Dayfarer backpack, which is another really stylish and solid work and gym bag. That one had a little bit more of a professional aesthetic and it's a top loading bag. It had some adjustability. It also opened clamshell style to make it maybe a little bit easier to organize your stuff. It also had a great shoe compartment, solid laptop protection, pretty simple organizational layout, but just a solid bag. So if you're looking for something with a different aesthetic that's still gonna work great for your gym gear, then that's gonna be another solid option to keep in mind. Another bag this made me think of is the Boundary Supply Errant Pack. That's one of my favorite tech and everyday bags. I've used that a lot 
over the past year, it has a great build quality. I really love the organizational layout that it has. It offers a pretty nice amount of space. It opens up fully flat. It's also a top loading bag. And a cool thing about that is that there's a nice ecosystem of accessories that Boundary Supply has, so you can customize it if you want something that can also hold some camera gear. That bag includes a shoe compartment that's not quite as big as this one here. It's not gonna work as well for gym stuff in my opinion but it's a really versatile bag it's very comfortable to wear and if you're looking for something that's gonna you know have a different style but be in a similar price range and just offer a lot of value then that's gonna be a great option to take a look at and then the last option that I'll mention here is the Bellroy Transit Work Pack, which is one of the best bags that I've tested out recently. I love the minimal aesthetic of that. It comes in at 20 liters, so pretty similar size, but because it has a full clamshell opening, it can hold a ton of stuff. It's very easy to organize. It has a spot to place your shoes and a change of clothes if you wanna use that as a gym bag. It's very comfortable, solidly built. I really love the organizational layout on that and the laptop protection. It's gonna probably come in at a little bit of a higher price point, but if you're looking for something that's gonna be professional and just super versatile for pretty much any use case, and that's gonna be one of the best options to keep in mind. With that being said, the Air Fit Pack 3 holds up really well against all those bags. I continue to be impressed with how well the company iterates on their designs and takes feedback from their users. I don't really know how they can improve on this by very much, so I'm curious to see what they come out with for a future version. But at this time, this bag right here is one of the best and most versatile gym and everyday bags that you can currently get. And I'm definitely curious to hear from you guys what you think of the improvements that Air has made to their active collection. And if there are any similar options that you think I should check out, as always, please let me know in the comments. And I wanna thank the company again for sending the bag for me to test out. And if you found this video helpful, please give us a like. And if you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos and we'll see you in the next one.